Fort Lauderdale Rough Water Swim, and I will be your host this morning along with Brendan Hansen, Olympic gold medalist from uh, 2004 and 2008. He will be joining me shortly. The water is much better. How many people were here last year? Raise your hand if you were here last year. How many people swam last year? So a few of you swam last year. You know how bad it was last year. It's much better. The conditions are much, much better this year. Much more calm. The water temperature is nice. About 74, 75 degrees was the last word. So the water temperature is perfect out there. The 39th year, the Fort Lauderdale Rough Water Swim took place in the Atlantic Ocean on the world-famous Fort Lauderdale Beach. The races include a one-quarter mile and a half-mile swim for the younger swimmers and a one-mile and 5K swim for the older and master swimmers. Other than the Atlantic City swim on the New Jersey shore, this is the oldest swimming race on the east coast of the United States. Obviously, Stu, you have a rich tradition here at the Swimming Hall of Fame. Tell me about your thoughts about this event. Oh, this is great. I, I swam in it probably uh, 30 years ago. I, I actually was a lifeguard on the beach and paddled it uh, first. And now uh, I ran the Swimming Hall of Fame pool for uh, 18 years. And now I'm back as a coach. I got 15 kids in this event. It's just going to be a it's going to be a blast. Right in front of us. You've got to go around this left with this yellow buoy with your left shoulder. If you do not, they're going to make you turn around and go back. Left shoulder, yellow buoy. All the way down to those two yellow buoys down there. They're about a mile down the beach. You put your right shoulder on the yellow buoy and then just make a straight path all the way down. The big difference between swimming a race like this and swimming a pool race is there's no lane line separating the competitors. There's no walls to bounce off of. And swimmers tend to use strategy in a different way. You'll pace yourself in the pool, but here you'll swim more in a pack. And outside of some unsportsmanlike conduct, which does occasionally happen, we rarely have a disqualification, especially in a friendly race like this. But you do have a lot of real creative race plans. So it's fun. It's fun to swim together and and deal with navigation and things like that. Over 500 swimmers competed in a race that started in 1969 by Buck Dawson, the founding executive director of the International Swimming Hall of Fame. The Rough Water Swim was first called the Galt Ocean Mile Swim. The one mile race took place on the newly developed condo strip of the Fort Lauderdale Beach known as Galt Ocean Mile. It was well known for many years as the largest swim race in the United States with the largest spectator audience of over 50,000 people who theoretically would be looking out their condo windows when started, no lifeguards or safety crew existed. In fact, swimmers were asked to bring your own lifeguard to walk to the beach as they swam. You guys were the winners in the swim today? Yeah. How was it? Good. It was cold. The water was cold though. Do you usually swim in the ocean or do you swim in pools? Pools. Pools. Was this your first ocean swim? Yeah, that was my first open ocean swim. This is my second. Yeah. What do you think of ocean swimming? Better than pools? Um, yeah, by a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it harder than pools, so yeah, it's better. It's harder. more working. Either of you get stung by jellyfish? I think I touched one on the top, but I didn't get stung at all. You? No. So would you want? Would you recommend other kids to come out and swim in the ocean? Yes. Yeah. Have you been in this swim before? Yes. How many? This is the third one. I did last year. How was this compared to last year? Piece of cake compared to last year. Now you've got these marks all over your body. What happened to you? I guess I've been in the jellyfish bang. I guess they all eat me. So did you stop or did you finish the race? No, I stopped. You stopped? Yes. So you didn't get the survivor medal? No, I didn't. Oh, no. Yes. Was that bad? Yeah, that was super bad. Yeah. yeah. I bet you, did you get stung? Uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Did, you, did you stop also? No, no. I finished. Yeah, I got my medal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, and you? Did you get stung? No, not at all. So I don't you... know, it was in the one mile, and it was not all of jellyfishes. Well, okay. Okay. So what was... You'll be back next year then? Uh, I hope so. You know what? It was a great experience. A great experience? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about you, even though you got stung? Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I've been here twice and it's awesome. I love doing it. And yeah. you? 
Yes, it's the first race I didn't finish my whole life. I'm going to come back and finish it. For All sure. right, good for you guys. Good for you. How's the weather here compared to up where you left? Nice and sunny. <laughs> it's like minus 25 back home. So. And this is minus 25 at home. Yeah, and here's That's where we have to be. Yeah, so another end. good reason to come back to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Yeah. Finishing up the 39th annual Fort Lauderdale Rough Water Swim, and it was an incredible day today. Beautiful blue skies. Uh, the ocean, Brendan. I don't. You weren't here the last couple of years, were you? I, no. I wasn't here either no. the last couple of years. But I heard it was uh, amazingly different than the last couple of years. It's very rough out there. A lot of people didn't finish uh, the last couple of years because of the surf. But it was a beautiful day. Some jellyfish problems, but overall, it was a beautiful day. About 500 swimmers, and I know this is one of your first open water swims just to attend. I, I guess your impressions overall, just watching what happened out there. I think that this is kind of uh, one of the areas that this sport is going. Um, I, I've seen the sport of swimming, obviously, after 2008 Olympics go, you know, uh, just keep going up in the ratings. And now you're seeing a lot more open water swims. You're seeing the triathlons become more popular. And I think um, this is just another aspect, another branch of our sport that's really going to take off in the next couple of years. Florida this time of year, obviously, is, is you know, it, you get a day like this, you're, you're really, you're really uh, against the odds. But it's nice when uh, you do have a day like this, things come together and the kids have a good time. The jellyfish, obviously, were a little bit of a problem. But... I really see the sport of uh, open water swimming uh, becoming more popular, and that's one of the reasons that I feel like we need to come out here and support these kids because uh, I think this is the, the future of swimming.